Stoves that use these cartridges are our topic that we're talking about today. Now you might remember we talked about this stove. Quite a handy stove, I thought it's quite small. That cartridge goes in there of course. But then I also found this one. Actually I bought this one first. A much smaller version as you can see. Of course your cartridge goes in there. Is it called a cartridge? Let me see. Oh yes, gas cartridge it says there at the top. I thought maybe it's a canister or something. Anyway, now I've also run into this one that takes the same cartridge apparently. It is a Kovar portable car type stove, K202. There's a picture of it. There's a picture of some nice sausages on a grill. I'm not sure this stove is gonna work with a meat grill. Uh, what does it say here? Portable car type stove, product model, commodity name, portable car type stove. Specification use outdoor scam fuel, butane, propane, gross weight 500 grams, net weight 4, 16 grams, power 2800 watts. Ignition way, I have no idea what that is. Piezo electricity auto ignition. Alrighty, thank you me for that possible uh, pronunciation. Just a picture of it with a pot on it. So let's have a look at it, why don't we? It is inside a little black bag, carry bag. What else is in there? Oh, just a little instruction manual, user manual it says there. Information for safety. Are we interested? Well, some pictures. There's how you load the cartridge. There's how, I don't know what, I cannot see it now. There's just before assembly, operating the stove, disassembling the stove. So let's have a look at it now. Take it out of its little baggie. This is a nice carry baggie for your stove. About this size. So we take out our stove. There's the stove, close up. So what we're gonna do is at the bottom, we fold out its legs for it to stand steadily. There we go, and then these things we fold out. There. Now we have a stove that can stand, and no, it cannot fly, even though it looks like it has wings. This is where you're gonna place your whatever you're gonna place on the stove. Let me just put it down and we'll demonstrate further. Let's see, our gas cartridge is gonna go in there. So let's take our cartridge, this of course goes off. There goes in your little gas nozzle thingy. First we'll hook it in there, you see. The rim and then the gap in the cartridge goes in there where, the, where there's a little piece of folded in metal. And for that I'm gonna need both hands, so let, let's do this. So first we hook it into the bottom. Uh, of course the nozzle goes into the hole and the top goes into the gap and we twist it Yeah, turn it a little bit and now it's hooked in see? oh another thing you must make sure of this is where you turn the gas on this must be off when you put in the gas canister otherwise your gas is all gonna leak out now one main difference between this and these other butane stoves well with this you turn on the gas and ignite it with the same knob but with this one that's not how it works this is where you ignite it. It's got a little igniter there, you see? This thingy here that comes out of the white piece. That is gonna ignite your flames and you turn the gas on with this. So you're gonna have to be really quick. You're gonna have to turn on the gas and immediately light it. Because otherwise, if you turn it on and take your time and then uh, switch it on, then there's gonna be a little explosion above here that might singe your eyebrows or something. So let's ignite it quickly. Turn it on. Ah, there we are. No, it worked perfectly this time. Okay, I'm turning it counterclockwise to turn on the gas. Ah, there we go. That was quite successful. And our blue flames are already there, nice and hot. The first time I took too long, there was like a huge cloud of flames over it. But uh, yeah, that quickly disappeared also as it burned away. It seems now our stove is working just nice and safe. One more time. Turn it on. And ignite. 
Yeah, no gas explosion that time. Okay, well, I don't know why this time. There's no problem at all. Seems the stove is quite safe. It's just that first time I turned on the gas and it started flowing out and then when I ignited it there was a little bit of an explosion above it that lasted for about a second or two and then the gas was burned up and it was gone and it was working just fine. Now it seems I don't have that problem at all. I don't know, maybe I just opened the gas too widely and too much gas came out before I ignited it. But it seems that's seldom if ever a problem. Anyway, once you've got your blue flame going, of course you can open the gas and close it a bit depending on how big a flame you want and then you place your kettle or whatever onto the stove and wait until it boils so quite a handy little thing by the looks of it once you're done close your flames and it's just as easy to back up this just twists out and out again and now you simply fold everything back in just make sure it's not too hot it's not too hot now We'll fold out the wings, I'm calling them wings, no the other way around because you don't want to break off that thingy. The igniter, twist these things around like so, and fold in the legs and there's your small little stovey again that's small enough to fit into this little bag. Just make sure it's not hot before you put it in your baggie. It's not that hot now, oh actually here it's very hot close it and now you can carry your stove in a little baggie that fits into the palm of your hand yeah actually I'm just gonna take it out for now I don't want this hot burner to melt the baggie I don't think it will but yikes yeah this thing is pretty hot but uh, okay these uh, wings supports pot supports or kettle supports they'll stop the bag from touching it hopefully and uh, yeah, there's our small little stove. Nice little thingy, I would say. The biggest thing is now this gas canister you have to carry around. Actually bigger than the stove by the looks of it. So, thank you for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll talk some more about stuff in the next video. Have a blessed day.